Jaria in Asia, commonly known as strawberry garden strawberry, is a hybrid species that is cultivated worldwide for its fruit. It's widely appreciated for its characteristic aroma, bright red color, juicy texture, and sweetness. It's cooked in culinary arts every day and used in many foods. Chefs love it. The pineapple name for its resemblance to the pine cone is a tropical plant with edible multiple fruit consisting of colonsense berries. Pineapples are consumed fresh, cooked, juiced, and preserved and are found in a wide array of cuisines. I go by a term you must be imaginative, strong hearted. You must try things that may not work and you must not let anyone define your limits because of where you come from. The only limit is your soul. What I say is true. Anyone can cook, but only the fearless can be great. Some people call me Momo, some people call me Mateo, but what I call myself, I go by Matteo. So right beside me, I have the basic ingredients to cook tacos and a simple dessert just out of strawberries and a pineapple. Let's start down the line. I have two kinds of batter. I have eggs. I have sugar. I have cabbage. I have salt and pepper. I have three kinds of salsa. I have limes. I have strawberries. I have pineapples. I have meat. I have tortillas. And I have a chef torch. So, let's start with tacos. It doesn't matter what kind of meat you use for tacos. Some people like chicken, pork, beef, lamb, duck, fish, such as salmon, tuna, catfish, mackerel, trout, swordfish, catfish, cod, etc, etc. And so for this meal, I choose cod. And the reason I chose that is because it's not tough, it's white, it's plain, I like it, it's good and it gives itself a little challenge. And the challenge is it doesn't have a taste, in which case you have to make the taste yourself. Either marinate it, put sauce on it while it's cooking, cook it plain, and then put sauce on it when it's done. Or you can batter it up. And so, what I have here is Japanese style panko breadcrumbs, which is used for coconut shrimp and other stuff they cook. And I have beer batter. Now one quick fact about the beer batter is that the reason it's called that is because you have to cook it with the beer. And another quick fact relating to that is that chefs all around the world cook with alcohol in their food. And people might think, oh, but what if the alcohol stays in the food and people get drunk while eating? The truth is the alcohol doesn't stay at all. It goes away when it's being cooked into the food and it leaves behind the taste in the food but the alcohol is gone forever and so what they do if people decide to batter the fish is that they have a bowl with eggs and milk and they mix it all around and they have a bowl of bread crumbs and batter and they put the fish in egg mixture then in bread crumbs then they cook it now, um, you can do it that way, or you can just cook it plain and put salt and pepper over it, or you can marinate it, like I said, or you can put salsa on it while it's cooking. And so when it's done, you put it in the taco, of course, and then you add the greens. You can either add tomatoes, lettuce, uh, cabbage, radishes, um, any kind of vegetables that you like. And then you always want to add salsa because salsa is good and it gives it a really good taste. And so I don't have a lot here right now, but I have green taco sauce, I have tapatio, and I have hot salsa. For the finishing touch, you add lime. <laughs> um, and there you go, tacos. Um, now for the dessert, I have strawberries and I have pineapple. And what I did is I cut the strawberries in half and I cut slices of pineapple made into sticks and I grilled them. Um, I put them on a plate and then I sprinkled the sugar on top and then with the chef torch I turned it on and I caramelized it. And it gives it that little taste. Sometimes I melt chocolate sauce and I put it on top which is really good. There you have it. Meal for 
two or three people or five, depending on how much meat is for tacos and how much strawberries and pineapples you use. Okay, so back there you learned how to make fish tacos and a yummy dessert just out of strawberries and a pineapple. I sure enjoyed it. I hope you did too. So please comment and put a request of something you want me to make, such as meals, cookies, dressings, desserts, drinks, appetizers, etc. Except don't make it too hard because I can't cook every meal. I appreciate Stone Age Studios for letting me put this video up. And yeah, once again, I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the future. Matteo out.